Now, the purpose of this video is to show you all the different ways we could select our things in Reaper. In other words, our tracks, our items, our envelope points, anything in Reaper could be selected in many different ways. Now, for most of you, this will probably be a review, but you still might pick up some different workflows that you probably didn't think of. But as a review, over here are our tracks, and over here are our items. Some audio items, some MIDI, and some video. And to select our tracks, we can just left click on each track, and it selects that track. Just choose each one like this. And if you want to select multiple tracks that are next to each other, we could add in the shift key. Select this one, hold down shift, click here, and it selects all three. Or if you want to select tracks that are not next to each other, we could use instead of the shift key, control on the PC or command on the Mac. Hold down the modifier and select a track, select another, and both are selected, even though they're not next to each other, as this track is not selected. Select this one or this one, and to deselect tracks without deselecting the others, use the same modifier, control on the PC or command on the Mac. So if I choose this one, it deselects it while still keeping these selected. So we could deselect them with the modifier or select them with the same modifier, whether they're next to each other or not, which could be useful if you want to select all your tracks, hit select all, which is control A on the PC or command A on the Mac. It selects all the tracks as the tracks are in focus. Now we could deselect just the tracks we didn't want to select. So I could deselect track two by holding down control on the PC, command on the Mac. Now we selected all the tracks in our project minus this one. So if we delete it, it deletes all those tracks except for this one. Undo it. And we could also double click our tracks to select items on the track. So if we double click this track, selects all the items on this track, which we could delete or move or cut and paste. Double click this track, does the same thing and deselects the previous track. Or we could add them together, control on the PC, command on the Mac to select multiple tracks or multiple items on each track. Do it with this one to select more. Do it again to deselect all the items on that track. Now we just have all these. Deselect these or these and so on. So we can double click our tracks to select all the items on that track. Use control on the PC or command on the Mac to deselect some of the items on that track. So we've already selected all the items on this track. We could deselect this one and delete the rest. Now everything on that track besides this one got deleted. Do the same over here, double click it. It selects them all and deselect the ones you don't want to adjust and then work with just these. And again, using control on the PC, command on the Mac does the opposite. Double click, it selects all the items on that track. Use the modifier and double click. It deselects all the items on the track. And we can do similar things with our items. We can select this item by left clicking, or this one, or this one, or select all of them by holding down shift and selecting all three over here. Hold down shift again to select all these. But if they're not next to each other, use control on the PC or command on the Mac. Select this one and this one, maybe this one, this one, and this one. And all of these are selected, even though they're not next to each other, which again is helpful if you want to select all of them as our items are in focus, hit select all and just deselect the ones we don't want selected. So I could deselect this one and this one, maybe this one and delete or cut or copy them or move them. And just those get moved or cut or copied. But we could also use lasso to select them. If we right drag over the items, it creates this lasso and anything within that lasso is going to be selected if we let go like this or this or this. But again, they need to be next to each other in order to be selected 
as the lasso works in that way. Select them all, we could deselect them using control on the PC, command on the Mac, to deselect just the ones we want to, or select them the same way. Now, if you don't want to right drag to lasso, we can go up here to the toolbar and choose the lasso button. And with this toolbar button chosen, we could left drag to do the same thing. Left drag to create a lasso over these, these, maybe these, and all those items or just those items get selected. And we're done with that tool, just deselect it here, and it behaves the same way as before. So we can move things around as we need to. Now, if you notice, when we lasso or select our items, either like this or lassoing them, when we move them or delete them, they delete as whole items. If we just want to select within items, we could use razor editing. Hold on Alt on the PC, Option on the Mac, and right drag, and that's going to create a razor edit. So we could select just this area of these items, maybe these, these, or this. And if we select that, it creates that razor area, which we could delete, or cut, or paste, or just move around, and just that area gets moved, not the whole items. And we can create multiple razor edits. Let's create one for here, add a new one by adding in the shift key, and create multiple areas like this. And now we can delete those areas all at once, or we'll move them, and it just affects those areas. And if you don't want to right drag to create razor edits, we can use this toolbar button. Select it. And now we can left drag. And that creates the razor edits across multiple tracks, multiple items, anywhere we want to edit, just within this area of our items. And just turn it off when we're done to get back to a default behavior. We can move our items like this. Now, if you look up here on the items, we can adjust the volume of each one of our items. Bring it down or up, double click it to go back to zero or the default. But if we select multiple items, they'll all work together. So we can lasso like this, adjust their volume, and they all adjust together. We'll double click to go back together. And we could do that. With lassoing, we're selecting Control on the PC, Command on the Mac, and just choose the ones we want, or select all and deselect the ones we don't want, like this one and this one, just the volume right here, and all the items that are selected have their volumes changed or adjusted. And we could do this with muting our items as well. Here's the mute button. It mutes the item so you don't hear it. Do it on each item or select multiple items. Hold the shift key, hit any of their buttons, and they all mute or unmute. Select more with lasso, do the same thing. Or again, select all, deselect the ones we don't want, and just mute the others. And they mute or unmute when we click any of the mute buttons. And we could do this with trimming our items. Go to the left side, it turns to a trim tool to trim the left side or the right side. But we could do it with multiple items by selecting them and they all trim together on the left side or the right side together. And again, we could do it with all of them like this or deselect the ones we don't want to adjust and the others. Or get adjusted on the right side or the left side. And this will also work with adjusting the content within the items. If I hold down Alt on the PC, Option on the Mac, and drag in here, it moves the content within the item without adjusting the item itself, just the content within the item. But if we want to do it with multiple items, we could lasso them, or just select them, or deselect them with that modifier. 
And now, if we adjust it, they all adjust together, just the content within the items. Now, going back to our tracks, we could mute and solo our tracks right here. But we could also do it on multiple items by dragging the mute or solo button. So if I drag from here down, all those tracks get muted or unmute it the same way. And the same with soloing our tracks. Unsolo them or solo them like this. But the tracks do need to be next to each other. But if they're not, we could still use temporary groups, which means if we select multiple tracks, they'll all work together. So if I select this one and this one, again using control on the PC, command on the Mac, and if I hit the mute button, both tracks get muted or soloed. And again, it's going to work on any track we select. So we could select this one and this one, solo it or mute it, and all the selected tracks get muted or soloed together. And this will also work with the polarity button, reverse it, invert it, We'll put it back to normal or the record button. Let's select these three tracks, go into record, or all four, go into record, and all the tracks are in record. We'll take them out right here. And it'll also work for volume and pan. So if I adjust the volume on this track with all these tracks selected, we can adjust the volume of all the tracks together, which is basically a temporary group. As we can turn the group off, just by deselecting the tracks. But again, it'll work on pan the same way. Pan to the left or right, and they all pan together, or just the tracks that are selected. And we could also select, in a very similar way, our envelopes or the envelope points. So if I select this track, type V, it opens up or creates the volume envelope for this track. So we could put in some points. Let's add a bunch, holding down the shift key. Now we have multiple points to choose. We could select them and adjust them going up or down. And we could select multiple points the same way. Hold the shift key to select this one, this one, and this one. Now these are selected. While these are not, we can go up and down with this. And just those points get moved while the others don't. Or we could use lasso to select this one, hold the shift key, select this one, this one, and this one. Now they're all selected again, go up or down, or go side to side. Just those points get adjusted. Or we could do it by double clicking over here, and that selects all of them. So we can move them all together, up or down. We could deselect them all by double clicking over here. Now they're all not selected. Select them all with that keyboard shortcut and deselect them with control on the PC or command on the Mac. Deselect this one, this one, and this one. Now just these are selected. And again, we could just adjust those either up and down or side to side like this. Now we could also select automation items the same way. We can create them, alt on the PC, option on the Mac, and that creates an automation item right there. Let's create three of them. And again, we could select them by left clicking. This one's selected, this one's selected, this one's selected, or holding the shift key to select all of them. So you can move them all together. Deselect one, control on the PC, command on the Mac. Now we just selected these, deselect each one, use the lasso to select all of them and move them all together. So selecting things tends to work pretty much the same way in each context. For our tracks, for our items, for our envelopes or envelope points, and also automation items. So that's pretty much it. That's selecting things in Reaper. Hope you learned something, hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.
Bingo, boys, let's go. Mm -hmm.